What's up guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to install iOS 6 on your iDevice without a UDID account or being a developer. So we need to download three things, one is iOS 6, second is iTunes and 5.1.1 firmware. After we've downloaded them, we can start and the iOS 6 is compatible with the iPhone 3GS, the iPhone 4, the iPhone 4S, the Apple Touch 4th generation, iPad 2 and also the new iPad. So let's go ahead and jump on into the process. After we've downloaded everything, we need to go into iTunes and click Alt on our Mac and Shift on PC and click on to restore. Then we need to scroll through our actual um, file system and find our iOS 5.1 firmware. After we've found that, we can actually start the process. It will start installing on our iPhone. As you can see, I've got the live cam at the bottom. It will start installing on our iPhone and uh, we need to do that. Now after we do that guys it's very important so we need to set the iPhone up from the iPhone we need to go through all the Apple setup and set up the iPhone and make sure it's set up like that and then that is about it for then and I'll be back when that's updated So we've got iOS 5.1.1 installed and we're going through the setup process make sure we don't plug it into the computer and do it from there we need to do it from the actual phone and then we're ready to go with iOS 6. We need to go over to iTunes again and go ahead and click Alt on Mac and Shift on PC and click check for updates and we need to go ahead and find the iOS 6 firmware we've downloaded. After we've downloaded that, uh, after we've installed that sorry we'll, we'll, as you can see it will be verifying the update with our phone and it will be updating our iPhone so guys as you can see it will take quite a while on the updating bit and the verification bit but other than that it will get done quite nicely um, tell me what you think about iOS 6 in the comment section check out my previous video links will be in the description and also in the end of the video and as you can see right now we can see when we log on to the phone we can see that we get some changes already and we can see that just by scrolling through the settings panel uh, go into our bar I'm going to show you that we're on iOS 6 and as you can see like so we're on iOS 6 so guys if this video did help you out please hit that subscribe button click the like button it'll help me out a bunch go ahead and check out my previous video on my thoughts and go ahead and leave a comment down below tell me what you think and I'll catch you in the next one bye bye